Hello and welcome back to another episode of Saving Your Disaster Campaign. My name is Heiken and today we're having a doozy at our hands. I would call this campaign a better strike gone wrong. This is sent in from a long-term viewer and we're joining the action right away. So, uh, the long-term viewer is someone who is regularly playing Legendary Iron Man, also successful, so he is a competent player. However, I think he might have taken a bit too much on, or at least according to his own admission, it might be too much to stomach. He was trying a better strike version of Legendary Iron Man, um, a better admin on top of it, Grim Horizon and a couple of other nasty things. And if you're playing better strike for the first time, uh, the rules are a little bit different. For those who are unaware, better strike doubles your hit points, but also doubles the hit points of the enemies. So that makes the fights much more intense in terms of uh, positioning and less alpha strikey. However, it also becomes problematic when you're not really aware of what you're doing. So I looked at the situation here. And apparently he was camping this uh, rooftop with three of his soldiers. You can uh, see the heavy here with a heavy gun. Uh, not sure what uh, the yellow one is, potentially another grenadier, and uh, then we do have uh, another assault here. A blue seems to be his assault, so three of his six characters are already down. The assault, halfway damaged, red, uh, sort of uh, damaged, and I think Pewty, the sniper, the only one who isn't damaged yet, but I can't tell if he has forgotten to give them armor or not, it just looks a bit weird. Anyways, we are fighting against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up here and 7, 8 enemies. So, violence in itself is already bad and uh, Better Strike really hammers home the, uh, the point that power comes from being in higher numbers. And it hammers home the point that you want to have a good position. So, I am wondering, shall we ignore the zombie here and uh, just go for the Mac? Or, alternatively, are we flashbanging the um, sector up here? Because I think he might elsewise mind control us. In either way, we definitely need to move. As much as I like to kill that mech, I think taking out uh, the zombie might be the right decision. Okay, Saiken in his ever ongoing feud uh, to find the right the right grenade position there we go and that's one zombie down cool next up moving into full cover Great. Uh, we got a decent crit chance, but we also got a really poor chance to hit. I wonder. Should I just instead try to get this guy down the old fashioned way? Um, good question. I think we have a 100% chance to kill him now. I might regret not shredding his companion. But getting the mech down already eliminates two of the enemies. Now the mech moves in. Ooh, luckily reloads, that's good. Uh, that's not so good. Okay. This is bad. Affirmative. Moving out. Now 
we're taking a lot of damage as you can see beautiful since when do enemies have frost grenades Good, healing should get him out. Yep, there we go. Still throat, but better than nothing. We can't really uh, begin to shred uh, this guy, but we do have a repeater on the standard gun here. Gun here. Yep. So maybe. Nope. I was about to say maybe we're lucky, but of course that didn't happen. Definitely going to use our lightning hands. Come on. Yep, that is definitely what I'm currently thinking. Come on. This can't be real. We need to go and take some good cover. Problem is moving here means this guy can move out. And we're going to have a bit of an issue. But he can move out either way and flank us. And we need to get all the way up here very soon. Wait, 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 wait. Someone is back here? Okay. Well, I don't even want to know where that next enemy is hiding. So this will open us up for the mech. The mech will likely move up and flank us, but the mech can flank us anywhere, so don't be fooled by it. Melee vulnerability allowed us to deal decent damage and reposition at the same time. Sniper goes into full cover and focus the mech because it's the only one who has blue screen rounds. Okay, well. That's a nice little miss. Not bad. Overwatch. Oh, the enemy is dropping the ball here. Interesting. All right, all right, all right. Decent position. We're not affected by the overwatch. That doesn't do anything to us. That could be a kill. Not quite. Almost, though. Ah... Uh. Can't move to here because the overwatch definitely is affecting us in terms of not being able to move. Um, tell you what, we're going to be action efficient. Our sniper will soon be flanked. I want to prevent that from uh, being too problematic. So aid protocol is going to help us out. And we're just continuing to hit the heavy. There's a chance that we're actually going to kill it. Uh, taking the sector off is not a bad idea. But then again, the heavy is not taking enough damage. The heavy mech. Nah, I think we're going to kill the sector first. Oh, that's bad. Burning is nasty on better strike because it continues for a long time. My spider senses were correct. They wanted to flank us. Full cover on the other hand helps us. We're in a good we're in a good spot overall. 
Much better than at the beginning. Of course, XCOM then decides now is the time to let you fall through the roof. Cool, yeah, three extra damage, the burning on top, that's... XCOM at its finest, we need to heal, which means we're losing one attack round. Uh, look, I mean, we could move up. Could move to here, but that would be flankable. I'll move to here, take a shot, and then move again next turn. That would be an option. Moves to here, full cover. Could still be flanked if the guy moves around. Moving up. And let's just pepper the mech. Not bad. Our target, minimal damage. Gonna need, to reload. Reload. need to reload. Like I said, we lost uh, one action due to the need of uh, healing. This will hurt. But there was no, no way where I could move any further. Full cover. It's still moving. Now we need to oh heal our sniper. Get on the heal. Oh boy, we're out of healing now. Reloading. Reloading. Starting to uh, destabilize that uh, thing. Moving into full cover. No crit, unfortunately. Which now brings us to the final kill. Okay, okay. Crit into full cover. Another XCOM classic. Reloading, we do have run and gun, so we're actually not too bad. What I will say is gamble needs to take an aid protocol. We don't want to gamble, you know. <laughs> oh, that was a bad pun. Shield bearer is a bit of a problem. Could move to here. Uh, Purifier is, doesn't matter, has used his grenade and we do have half cover against him. Good, shotgun to the face is definitely interesting. 
There we go. Repeater. Uh, head trigger. Nope. Not happening. Good. We're continuing to just deal damage at this point. No point in using uh, mm, lightning hands. But we are in half cover. Just gotta keep that in mind. Okay, we're almost through the bad parts. Action efficiency means reload when you do have the time. Getting this guy down, not too bad. But, but, unfortunately, no problem, only way to make sure that he is, stays dead is by a shotgun to the face. Well, how about that? Nice little implacable. Gets us to there. And this is a good repositioning into flanking for next turn. Burning into full cover, not really productive. Shooting into full cover, not so productive either. As you can see, we have now outmaneuvered uh, the enemy. Gamble gets the A protocol, as always. Time to continue to clean up here nicely. Fifty fifty, it's okay. Not sure why she's now bleeding out. Really? That was one of ours? Okay. Alright, we're already making our way further towards the exit zone because this is going to come up now more and more. Six turns, we're far away. I think uh, the truth is... We might need to be forced to just run. Wow. All right, five turns. Starting to move up. There's still a dark VIP somewhere around here. going keep it pushing next turn we're going to open this one here Running. 
I feel like we're participating in the show Running Man. This one is the ultra hardcore version. Uh, not good. I need a med kit here. Our friend here is ready to move. Remember, we're here to capture the VIP. We're not here to capture the VIP, my friend. Uh, we are here to not make this mission fail. Capturing the VIP to a degree is a luxury. Damn it. Headed there now. Good. We will shoot and hopefully kill that VIP. Running and gunning so that at least one person makes it out of this hellhole alive. Flanked sectored. A little hit with the tail and round, so I like that. And we're running. We're out. Alright. Um. Okay. On the move. Overwatch? Yeah, they know we need uh, need to get out of here. So they are starting their Overwatch routine. Interesting. Interesting choice. Lots of Overwatches. Helping with Overwatch. What? He also has double hit points. Oh, come on. Good, that's two Overwatches. good to be fair nothing here is really very good there are shades of not so bad okay second soldier is out listen for what I've been given It's very much a turnaround. Oh, they are burning. Oh, and we're having no more ammo. Mm. Can't charge out either. Can we deal some damage? Because mission is going to end and we're going to be captured, which is fine. It's better than dying. Moving to designated coordinates. Hey, some more damage. I can't just, just can't get this guy down. All right, hunkering down. Is the fire going to kill him? Yeah, it's burning. It's burning. Maybe the uh, fire kills him. No. Well, 
some people say we failed in the mission, other people said well done Saiken because you rescued two out of three soldiers. But that certainly was a low blow. Wow, damn it. Oh no. He did have a Templar. Mm. Okay, that's bitter. Yeah, that is bitter. Okay. Well, Tarek is captured. Not dead yet. And there is potential for a bond. I like death from above. I like quick draw as well. I'm going with quick draw for now. And Carlos Gonzalez is also not there. Contact with the region uh, removed. Ouch. Well, let's take a look what we're dealing with, shall we? So we got powered armor going as a research. That's generally not bad. Plasma rifle is on the horizon. He's missing some alloys. Okay, well, we can work with that. He got mimic beacons, or shall I say he had them, uh, because apparently the troops that we rescued do not uh, have them. Um, grenade launcher not upgraded, that's a bit of a fail. But I assume he didn't have the money, but the other weapons seem to be upgraded, which is good. Got one mad kit to work with, a flashbang, that's generally fine. A little bit short on the blue screen rounds, but it seems he's strapped for cash. Uh, no training yet. I'm wondering what he saved his money for. But Advent is always watching. Between their forces and the aliens themselves, they see everything. Not to mention the automated systems. Uh, what do we have? Power Relay, GTS, Resistance Ring, Proving Ground. Okay. Could we upgrade? Sure. Let's do that. And we don't have enough supplies here. Okay, I see what the problem was. Resistance ring, proving round, okay. Uh. Ah, before we go on to the strategy map, let's continue assessing the rest. Um, yeah, listen, we got captain, captain, lieutenant, couple of sergeants, that's actually not too bad. We got a ranger, two sar sharpshooters, uh, one specialist. Let's just double check. Shadow step, run and gun, implacable. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Very good, very good. Fantastic. Yeah, I just killed him. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Definitely a competent player. We're a little bit short on staff. He must have lost a lot of uh, guys. Oh yeah, well, okay, all right. So these three were Operations Blind Pirate. That was by far the worst. Uh, we lost uh, the lieutenant here. Specialist. Okay, he went in with two specialists, which makes sense. Wanted to build up a grenadier, but that's also understandable. And then he really seems to not have 
made a lot of mistakes it's just how hard he has put uh, or how high he has put the bar a gate crasher uh, kill okay can happen unless he shows you that he legitimately wanted to continue playing which is okay there's nothing wrong with that um, yeah and then one to two per mission over a course of many many missions and the last one was potentially the worst in terms of quality of outcome good how's uh, how's the world looking we got uh, mission timers increased by two yeah something is a better strike typically is double mission timers so I'm not sure why you need that but okay maybe maybe he he has a weird setup uh, resource rewards doubled the sabotage is fantastic this year stay with me should be in and v vulture potentially should be in as well okay what else mental fortitude that's a really good one so we need to get mental fortitude back tactical analysis that's fantastic as well i can already see what we're going to do i'm going to mental uh, get mental fortitude back because it is so so good uh then building our way up to europe and we'll take it from there this is the long and stony road back to uh, the to a normal life. Okay. Apparently, a couple of scientists were. We're injured. We got grenadiers. Can we? Now we don't have any more soldiers. Apparently, he has a bit of a problem with grenadiers. Yeah, he needs to train more. I see. Now well, that's that's a bit of an issue. Okay. Understood. I will. Relay, uh, rely on the power of the game to give us new recruits. Easy peasy. I'll play that off screen because that's a boring mission and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so got a promotion here. I see he was going for the promotion and for the avatar reduction. That's great. I like it. like to see that. 10 dodge, uh, that's not bad either. Facility lead might be helpful in his position. Recruit the skirmisher actually could be helpful because we're low on uh, soldiers. And rescue Lieutenant Charlie Wagner plus a promotion. That is fitting. That is very fitting. Got a Lieutenant uh, here on the line. So, and that brings a further promotion. Who needs a promotion? It seems like Judge has uh, just recently been promoted, but he already ha does have a Lieutenant uh, Sharpshooter. So what we really need is a Grenadier up there. closest is bomber so let's take a look at uh, his grenadier promote him yeah shredder not even a question hello my friend Stefan here it's going to be his go-to grenadier uh, maybe not with speed plus one but you know Better than nothing. Might as well give it to 
uh, someone who actually needs movement speed. So back to the resistance ring. That's a seven day promotion. Easy. Stefan is doing that together with another sharpshooter. Soldier wounded doesn't matter. Let's go, boys. Okay, we're very, very slowly needing to work our way back. Before that can happen, the game is giving us very strange missions. Okay. Something feels a little bit wrong. Hmm. That was receiving a mission without receiving a mission. Okay, we got Mental Fortitude. Uh, before we're making contact, I would actually like to get Mental Fortitude back, where that requires us to install a radio relay. So we're going to do that. That will give us Mental Fortitude, and then we're off uh, for technical analysis. Finally, debris cleared. That is so important. Got enough power, but not enough money. Okay, so now I do understand he's struggling. He's a little bit short on cash. Wanted to immediately go for resistance comps. I think that was a bit too early. I see what you're trying to do here, but it's potentially a bit too early. Shadow Keeper also needs to be built. Battlefield Medicine is a must have, so I think I need to switch priorities around. Battlefield Medicine, definitely number one priority. Shadow Keeper is so important as a weapon. Plasma Grenades are also important. Experimental Ammo is cool, but you know, there are more important topics than that. Potentially trying to farm for Tracer rounds or for Armor penetrating rounds. And see, as much as I like resistance communication, it really doesn't do you any good. Instead, a training facility now would be great, or even better, um, a possibility to reduce healing times. So it's the little small things that matter on the high levels. But we definitely have in are you telling me we again don't have enough supplies oh i know what it is shadow keeper more like shadow not happening fantastic so training center would be good infirmary would be good as well i think the infirmary would be very good indeed lab isn't bad Training center would allow us to spec more. I think we're going for training center. Good, beginning to excavate even more. Training center, let's power boost it because it will give us an immediate boost in uh, in power. There are training points that are definitely stored on each of the individuals. Extra abilities. Commander, there were a few wounded during the latest covert action. But after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. We finally 
got a lead on where the Chosen have been holding our soldier captive. It's time we get him out of there. Nice. Charlie Wagner, that might be... No, it's a Grenadier. Okay, he has already lost a Grenadier before <laughs> as captive. It's not the one that we lost. Use of the ring facility and deploy our idle soldiers on a covert action with the resistance. Yeah, faction soldier, that will be important. And how about, how about we're letting Slick do the job here. Slick does a slick job. Nine days, we're getting a skirmisher. Seems like a good idea to me. Just building up that roster again. All right, so Thunder, AKA Stefan Krause. It's getting a bit closer to those high ranks. You can now see Stefan here made it to Sergeant. Uh, made his way all the way from Squaddy to Sergeant in just a brief moment. Makes Korea in the army like no, uh, like it's no man's business. The Reapers have no interest in leading and that helps us with getting more Grenadiers. So that's a good start. Listen. Uh, for the next one, we got a team-ish. Specialist, Sharpshooter, Ranger. Got a Grenadier and a Reaper. Well, looks to me like a good team. If we put another Grenadier in, I think we can manage. And we're getting another Soldier out. Part Armor is not too far away. We definitely have an income problem as far as I'm concerned. So... That needs to be solved. But we can do that the next time. The radio relay will give us a little bit more income. Supply drop is happening soon, so that should be fine. Yeah, and we're at least getting a soldier back, so that concludes mission number one of the Saving Your Disaster Campaign Better Strike. If you enjoyed what you're seeing, leave a comment and a like down below and uh, let me know what you think of that campaign in particular. Good one. Take care. Bye bye.